As an integrative medicine practitioner, there are a lot of complementary and adjunct therapies I love to refer people to. Recently, I've been referring a lot of people for this one particular therapy. It's one that a lot of famous stars like LeBron James use. I was actually able to try it last week, and I have to tell you, it blew me away. Stick around to find out what that therapy is. This is Sage Health TV. I'm Dr. Anastasia Jones. Thanks for joining us. Today, we have a special guest with us. It's Janelle Cass. She is the owner of New Leaf Hyperbarics here in Edmonds. She's a Seattle native that was formerly a bioenvironmental engineer with the Air Force. She was part of the med team. Mm -hmm. And she kind of has an interesting story of what brought her, what interests in her personal story, of what brought her um, into this amazing field of healing and regenerative generative medicine. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Janelle? Yeah, so in the Air Force, I did what was called bioenvironmental engineering, which was protecting the airmen from environmental toxins and workplace toxins, as well as physical hazards such as noise and radiation. And um, so I always love protecting people and helping them be healthy. I imagine in that area you saw a lot of things like that in that field in the military. And Absolutely. I worked okay. with a, one neurotoxin that was so powerful that the PhDs that worked with it had to wear a sign that said, Hi, I'm Dr. So-and-so. If you find me, please return me oh to this address. Wow. Okay. That's kind of scary. It, it was okay. very scary, but uh, it was a very important project to do okay. a safe environmental mm -hmm. disposal. Okay. And then from there, um, my passion for helping people be healthy, just, it was like a natural extension okay. once I found hyperbarics. Got it. And um, what was your first connection with hyperbarics? Like, how did you encounter this, this particular field of, of yeah. medicine? So um, a very good friend of mine, Tara, has multiple sclerosis, and she had a hyperbaric chamber in her house. Okay. And I was visiting her, and I said, what is this thing in your house? And she said, this is my hyperbaric chamber. And I was like, what does it do? And so she explained it to me. And then from there, it was just, I was in love because it's um, beautiful from the standpoint of mm -hmm. simple physics and how powerful it can help people heal. Wow. And I imagine she must have had a really good response with it in order to, one, have her own in her home, but yes. also for you to witness this with mm -hmm. somebody that you know and care about and then want to pursue this field. Yeah. So can you Absolutely. tell me a little more like specifically what hyperbaric oxygen therapy is or hyperbaric therapy and how it works? Sure, sure. So um, hyperbaric medicine um, just relies on simple physics where you apply pressure to a gas, more of it dissolves in a liquid. But in this case, the gas is oxygen and the liquid is your bloodstream. So okay. when we apply just a mild amount of pressure, you get all this more oxygen going through your plasma and not just dependent on your platelets. Okay. That's, I never heard it explained like that. Honestly, in all the research I've done on it and the people I've referred to it, I've never heard it in a way that makes sense like that. So um, that's really good. Now, I, um, I've been referring some people more recently mm -hmm. to um, the hyperbaric therapy for certain things and... Um, for a variety of conditions. Can you expand a little bit on conditions that you have seen it be beneficial for um, or the type of the type of clients or patients sure. that you see? Well, so hyperbaric therapy is super effective at bringing down inflammation. Mm -hmm. So one hour of hyperbarics is equivalent of taking 40 Advil, but without all the negative effects. Yeah, on the liver and the kidneys. Exactly. And, okay. So most um, conditions that if Mm -hmm. It's an underlying inflammatory condition, benefit greatly from hyperbarics. Okay. And, and so many conditions are connected with inflammation these days. Mm -hmm. um, they I, have identified inflammatory biomarkers in things ranging from cancer to Alzheimer's to depression, even in diabetes. So if it's bringing down inflammation, I could see it really being beneficial for, for so many different things. Yes. yes. And along with the um, bringing down inflammation, it also stimulates stem cells and mm -hmm. tissue growth okay. and even um, neurological tissue growth. So okay. we actually have a gentleman who's coming to us because he's got Parkinson's and um, is doing really well, okay. getting much stronger and Great. allaying the degeneration okay. of, of okay. Um, 
So, so like MS, mm -hmm. Parkinson's is also considered a degenerative neurological disorder where the myelin sheath or the other components of the nervous system are starting to break down. So this can actually um, slow down or reverse some of that Yes, process. absolutely. Okay, that's, that is really interesting. Um, so I was um, lucky enough recently, just last week, to be invited to a roundtable mm -hmm. discussion at New Leaf Hyperbarics. It, um, involve some other physicians, um, some physical therapists, chiropractors, a lot of people in, involved in wellness. And the discussion was around the use of, um, well, not just hyperbarics, but around the identification and treatment of concussions and traumatic brain injuries. Mm -hmm. And that's a, um, a big area of interest to me and the information that's coming out around, well, one, just that topic alone has just been exploding lately because of so many unfortunate situations that have come to light around um, different football players and, and other sports figures, as well as, um, a lot around um, military people and repetitive brain injury or traumatic brain injury and depression, death, mm -hmm. um, some of the sequelae that happen after head injury. And so we had this group that met and it was so interesting and informative. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for inviting me. I learned a lot and I would love it if you could just share a little bit about the specific uses of hyperbaric oxygen around traumatic brain injury or concussion. Uh Absolutely. So what's really exciting with mild hyperbaric, so we go to 1.3 atmospheres, which mm -hmm. is about the same, uh, if you were to swim to the bottom of the pool, it's about 11 okay. feet underwater. Yeah. So that amount of pressure. And more and more research is coming out that for neurological damage, such as a concussion or traumatic brain injury, or even PTSD, mm -hmm. that it's more effective than the higher pressures at mm -hmm. rehealing that tissue and bringing circulation back to the um, okay. parts of the brain that have been missing their their blood flow, okay. and so you're that, talking increased perfusion essentially. Exactly, is, is what it is. And um, is there any studies on the looking at getting this therapy on board earlier following an accident or injury, as opposed? I know it can benefit later. Mm -hmm. But is this something that if it's done immediately after an injury, even if the, the severity of it isn't necessarily determined, that it could be, it the, seems like it would be beneficial right, to do it, it early I think it would on. be very beneficial. Um, right now, the studies don't always happen like as yeah, soon. And yeah. so um, Dr. Paul Harch, who's um, kind of the pioneer of using hyperbarics for traumatic brain injury, has had great success with, um, with people early and later on okay. um, from the from the injury. It's really good to know. Yeah. We actually have um, one of our trained technicians, she suffered three concussions um, playing okay. girls soccer. And um, she's now up to about her 30th hour doing hyperbarics. Okay. And before she was doing hyperbarics, um, she couldn't read a book. She's about 20 years old. And she was an avid reader. She would read three novels a week. And she came to me and um, we called them dives. And so it was after like her 18th or 20th dive. And um, she says, Janelle, I just read a book. I said, oh, okay. Yeah, just... And then and then I took a second and I, I went, oh my goodness. Like, that's huge. I mean, this girl's life was dramatically affected by that concussion. Yeah, um, I was I was able to hear her story as, as well. And when you hear the story of a young woman, 16, 17, three consecutive head injuries over like a year and a half period. Mm -hmm. And then things that we take for granted, you know, that we just, you know, the things that we're able to do, a lot of people who, su who suffer these kind of brain injuries, um, they still walk and talk and they might seem normal to somebody they meet, but the people with the traumatic brain injuries, they come in and they're like, I'm not the same person. I'm mm -hmm. not getting enjoyment out of things. I can't finish a book. I can't um, carry on a sentence and remember, you know, right. what I talked about, you know, an hour late, not an hour later, like five minutes later. Right. And then to hear that, like that kind of a, a success story and, and she's continuing mm -hmm. to, to use the therapy and get she better. Is. That really yeah. just touched my heart to see success in something. Which brings me to another another question mm -hmm. or point, which is this is not something for, you know, certainly it can have a, an immediate or fairly quick short-term benefit for some things. But in, 
in in bigger conditions and injuries and stuff, this isn't something that is going to correct it overnight. And so I think it's important to maybe talk about what people might expect in terms of numbers of treatments, duration sure. of each treatment. Um, so in general, yeah, some people do. They, they expect, I'm going to do hyperbarics and mm-hmm. everything's going to be great. Yeah. Um, now, the people maybe with neuropathy, after one session, they'll feel like some tingling. But um, for soft tissue, we kind of expect five to ten sessions, okay. and then more more complicated chronic con- type injuries. We're talking ten to twenty, okay. and then for sure the neurological type things: autism, mm-hmm. um, Alzheimer's, dementia. You're looking okay. cl- the the standard protocols: forty sessions. Okay, in a relatively like. Ideally, if you can do it in a short amount of time, there's going to be more benefit if they're fairly close together. Mm -hmm. That's that's good to know. And I think with a lot of the stuff, if you know, once again, if people don't see an immediate result, they may stop. But oftentimes, we can when you're on the right path. And I know with this, with some of the medicine we do, Mm -hmm. there might be more subtle. You might not see like, okay, I you know, my brain's clear today, but you might find that you're sleeping better or there might be subtle, a little bit calmer. What kind of early signs do you see? So the early signs, people do sleep a little bit better. They feel a little more energized um, Mm -hmm. and maybe calm as well, like an energized calm, if that makes makes sense. Like if you've had a good night's sleep, Mm -hmm. you're kind of peppy but calm. Mm -hmm. That does make sense. So I... um, was able to do one session mm-hmm. so far, and I um, I really liked it. I I didn't wasn't going in for any specific condition, mm-hmm. but I actually had gone to a bar class early early that morning, and I hadn't done one in about six well, five or six weeks. So I knew I was going to be crazy sore, like de- deconditioned, and because. Um, you know, once I take a long break from anything and I try it again, I'm really sore. So I did the, I did the, uh, the hyperbaric chamber that day. And it's inter- it's an interesting experience. Like I definitely was like, okay, I don't know what to expect. I'm not really claustrophobic or anything. So I, you know, any chance to lie down and relax is, is welcome to me. Um, but I brought my phone and I was like, oh, maybe I'll work a little, but I was just out. I fell asleep like a couple minutes into it. It was a super deep, relaxed sleep. And then the rest of the day, I I wasn't energized, but I was really kind of more calm and relaxed than I normally am. And um, I did not get sore at all the next couple of days. I didn't have that like post-workout soreness. Yeah. So that, so there you go. There's the inflammation, like just got kind of nixed. I didn't have to take Advil or, I mean, (laughs) turmeric. Right. (laughs) Um, But um, yeah, I think it's got really popularized by athletes more Def- recently they Definitely. have their own chambers they, they travel do. with them over 500 nfl football players use the same chambers mm-hmm. that we do that's so interesting the caddies at the u.s open were using mm-hmm. hyperbarics to oh the, the caddies the caddies okay. not okay. just the golfers so. i mean definitely good for golf yeah. and you know they have to not only you know they're lugging mm-hmm. all that stuff around but they have to have some mental acuity and so yeah you know when they get a break so, yeah. speed up their recovery do a little bit of hyperbarics so it's I mean, it's definitely okay. good for, I mean, we talked about some very serious conditions, yeah. but there's a lot of people who use hyperbarics just for a little extra energy mm-hmm. and it's just nice recovery. to know there's another option for a lot of these conditions that I think has not really filtered out to the general public, but knowing that there's a non-invasive, non-pharmacological, so not drug involved exactly. approach that can give long-term results yeah you get to yeah. just relax you know you can yeah, you give as many there, pillows as you want and, yeah, yeah it is it's a really it's it's a beautiful beautiful um establishment and i really yeah. enjoyed it um, so i wasn't really sure what to expect before i toured your clinic and had my own session for mm-hmm. people who haven't seen this done or haven't experienced it, mm-hmm. it themselves can you kind of walk us through what a typical session would look like what the chamber's like and Sure. No. So our clinic is very much like a spa setting. After you do, you do your normal intake paperwork, we'll go over um, some important things like how to communicate. Mm-hmm. Uh, the big thing with hyperbarics is that you have to know how to clear your ears. Yeah. So you use the same techniques that you use when you're flying, you know, maybe yawning or chewing gum. And we actually even have some if you forget yours. Uh, maybe sipping water. Um, but we teach you those things, make sure you understand the hand signals. 
And then you get to go in your own private treatment room. And the chambers, and you can actually YouTube this, uh, LeBron James uses the same one. Mm -hmm. and, and he's a big guy. He's a big so guy. So he's getting in the same size he's chamber. The same, For me, same it was chamber. spacious. Like, I could have fit, like, yeah. two or three of me in there. We have actually some people who do what we call a buddy dives or, okay. you know, tandem session mm -hmm. so that um, yeah, just two to people be clear, can go in. You're saying dives, but it's not underwater. Definitely okay. not underwater. <laughs> okay. You're basically lying in your own personal tent. You know, if you've ever been camping and you've got one of the, yeah. you know, a tent. And there's a couple of pillows and a blankie. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. We'll give you, if you're feeling a little chilly, we'll give you a nice fuzzy blanket. If you like pillows on your knees, you know, however many you want, we'll give you as many pillows as you want. And then the session lasts about an hour. Mm -hmm. And each of our treatment rooms has um, big windows. You've got natural light or we can dim it if you want to nap. Yeah, so there were windows in the chamber. It wasn't mm -hmm. just like a, a dark, opaque yeah. thing. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're not, yeah, definitely, you can see what's happening. Definitely in have outside. to have windows because that's yeah. how we communicate okay. with the with you guys inside. Great. Yeah, and check out yeah check out some YouTube videos, the one of LeBron. Oh, it's really him. good. Yeah. And um, I have one more question. What might be some contraindications for this therapy? It sounds like it's great for so many things. Is there any any conditions or anyone who may need to check in with their doctor or it's just may not be the right therapy yeah. for them. So definitely number one, if you've got like a head cold or upper mm -hmm. respiratory condition where your sinuses aren't clearing okay. or your ears aren't clearing, you can't come in that day. But you know, if you come in and you give it a try, we'll, we'll let you come back and yeah. no problem. Um, severe COPD, you definitely okay. want a uh, doctor's nice. approval to do that. Okay. Uh, we have had a client with mild COPD and that actually really it's helped. Beneficial. Out. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a handful of chemotherapy drugs that okay. are contraindicated, um, soon after. So we, you have to wait a certain amount of time that and then you can do hyperbaric. Well. Okay. But other than that, our therapy is so mild that it's, it's quite complementary to, to most other, um, treatments. Okay. And, Okay, so um, if people are interested in trying hyperbarics at New Leaf, um, how can people um, find you? Um, pretty simple. Just we've got a website, newleafhyperbarics.com, and on there is our phone number. So just give us a call, or if you want to just come visit us, we're right on Fifth Avenue across from Ace Hardware in Edmonds, Washington. Perfect. Okay, well, thanks for joining us, Janelle, right, and thank, thank you, you for joining us. We'll see you next time.